Now, all this began, of course, with that horrific attack on Saturday. And joining me now is Milet Ben Chaim, who escaped from the massacre uh, by Hamas at that music festival. Uh, Milet is here with me now. Firstly, thank you so much for being with me. I know it's, it's hard. There are no words, but we'll try and talk about it today, if that's OK. First, first of all, just if you could, just tell me how the day began for you. Uh -huh. um... Honestly, very early, because I can barely sleep. I start crying as soon as I open my eyes. Um, we're all trying to get better. It's extremely hard since it's still going on. There are still people missing, and we keep getting more and more messages about friends who are uh, being murdered. Mm. And as the days go by, I imagine because in my experience, you know, we've been speaking to so many survivors now, and in a strange way at the beginning, it was easier for them to speak. Yeah. Perhaps as the day goes, goes go by, it actually becomes more difficult. Would you say that's fair? Yeah, it's getting worse and worse because we keep understanding what we were handling. We didn't really know at the time. I mean, of course, we, we saw, but we didn't understand how big it was, how horrible it was. And of course, we keep losing more and more people. Mm. Can you, can you talk me through that day? Can you talk me through Saturday? Um, yeah. So we were at the party, um, and then at 6.30, the music stopped. We started to see tons of rockets in the sky. We didn't really understand what's going on. We tried to, to get some information. Some people lay on the ground, some people was running. Uh, we decided to go to our car and drive. Everybody was really drunk and wasted, so very, very much helpless. Uh, thankfully, I was pretty much sober, so I, I took a friend's car, uh, got everybody in, and we started driving uh, like crazy. It's a, it's a really weird road, and we went one way, but uh, people were shooting at us, so we went to the other direction, but we had terrorists coming from there as well. Uh, we just went out of the car because we had no choice. We decided to run towards the fields. Um, but no, every place we ran to, we saw people uh, running and screaming that they are being shot and we need to go to the other way. It was like two or three hours of running like crazy, trying to survive. We saw a lot of people falling down. Um, eventually, I, I ran out of power. Uh, and, and I knew we are surrounded, like there is, there is no place to go. So I told my friends that we need to, to hide in the bushes. Uh, some of our friends kept going. Uh, me and three other girls stayed. Uh, we lay down, covered ourselves with leaves um, and waited. We tried to call the police, but nobody answered after, I don't know how long. Um, they answered and they told us that we are on our own because there is uh, villages being uh, taken over by the terrorists, and people are being kidnapped, and they don't have they don't have anyone to send to us. We waited for six hours, just hearing the shooting, hearing the terrorists screaming in, in Arabic. Uh, we heard our friends screaming. We don't know what happened to them. Um, they've been kidnapped or murdered or, or what happened. We couldn't move. Uh, we reached out to our friends and family. We asked them to, to send help. And eventually an, an angel, just a, a, a person, like 50 years old person, decided to, to come look for us and other. Uh, and, and, and he found us after two hours of, of searching. I mean, it's, you hear so many of these accounts and it's, it's still impossible to imagine the terror that you must have felt. And you say you were trying to call the police, but the DNA, nothing sir. was working. Yeah. And I think that you were at a funeral today, is that right? Or yesterday? Yesterday, yesterday. yeah. Yesterday. And whose, whose funeral was that? My cousin's. And were they at the, the festival? No, he's a soldier. He's a soldier. Can you, can you tell me what it, what it was like, what it's, what it's been like in your family to be living through this? just hell. We still don't understand, we still can't believe that this is happening to us. 
and it's not over because most of our family and friends are uh, going now to fight. So, like half of the family is at home being scared, trying to, to handle the situation, but all of the people that we love are fighting now. Thank you so much for coming. I'm very grateful. And the friends that you lost, may their memory be a blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we, we hear these stories now, uh, Diane, every day, but they don't get any easier. Thank you so much, Millet, and um, back to you in New York. And every single one is hard to hear. James, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.